Welcome to Wisdom Oasis, where we explore the art of meaningful connections. Today, we delve into making a good impression. 7 Things You Must Avoid on a First Date Whether you're a seasoned dater or new to the scene, stay tuned for valuable insights that can enhance your dating journey. 1. Being late Being late on a first date is a no-no. It's important to be on time as it shows respect for the other person's time. Arriving late can make them feel unimportant and set a bad tone for the date. Plan your time well, considering possible delays to ensure punctuality. This small effort makes a big difference, showing that you value the time you'll spend together. Being on time is like saying, I'm excited to be here and appreciate your company. So make sure to plan ahead, be punctual, and start your date on a positive note. 2. Talking too much about yourself Talking too much about yourself on a first date is a common mistake. While it's great to share, hiding the conversation with your own stories and achievements can be overwhelming. It's like a seesaw. Both sides should go up and down. Aim for a balanced chat where you both contribute. This way, you create a friendly exchange where each person feels heard. It's like building a bridge of understanding. So remember to listen as much as you talk, giving room for your day to share their experiences too. It makes the conversation enjoyable and helps create a connection. 3. Constantly checking your phone Constantly checking your phone on a date isn't cool. It's like saying, I'm not really here with you. To make a good impression, put your phone on silent or vibrate. Pay attention and be present in the moment. Checking your phone a lot can make your date feel ignored or unimportant. Imagine having a conversation with someone who keeps looking away. Not nice, right? So keep the phone away, focus on your date, and show that you value the time together. It's a simple way to make the evening more enjoyable and make your date feel special. 4. Discussing controversial topics Bringing up touchy subjects like politics or religion on a first date can be risky. It's like trying to build a sandcastle in a windy spot. Things might get messy. Instead, opt for lighter topics that let you get to know each other without disagreements. Imagine you're planting seeds for a friendship garden. Controversial topics are like weeds. They can ruin the vibe. So focus on things you both enjoy, like talking about hobbies or favorite movies. This way, you create a positive atmosphere, like a sunny day at the park, making the date more enjoyable for both of you. 5. Overindulging in alcohol Having a drink on a first date is fine, but drinking too much can turn things sour. Picture it like adding too much spice to your food. It ruins the taste. Moderation is key. Savor your drink without going overboard. It's like enjoying a piece of cake without eating the whole thing. Drinking responsibly shows good judgment and keeps the atmosphere positive. You want the day to be memorable for the right reasons, not because of excessive drinking. So pace yourself, be mindful of your alcohol intake, and keep the evening enjoyable for both of you. 6. Talking about exes Discussing past relationships, especially on a first date, is like bringing rain to a sunny picnic. It dampens the mood. Instead, focus on the present. It's like exploring a new book without getting stuck on the last chapter. Sharing positive aspects about your current interests and goals creates a brighter atmosphere. Picture it as planting seeds for a new garden, rather than revisiting an old one full of weeds. By keeping the conversation forward-looking, you make the date more enjoyable and avoid unnecessary emotional baggage from previous relationships. This way, you're building a fresh connection, like starting a new chapter together. 7. Appearing disinterested Nonverbal cues, like avoiding eye contact or lacking enthusiasm, can make you seem uninterested on a date. It's like attending a party but standing in a corner, not fun for anyone. Show genuine interest by listening actively and engaging in the conversation. Think of it as a dance. Take turns leading and following. Your body language is like the rhythm of the music. Make it lively. By expressing curiosity about your date's thoughts and experiences, you create a positive atmosphere. It's like two puzzle pieces fitting together, forming a connection that makes the date enjoyable for both of you. As we wrap up our discussion on first date etiquette, remember to subscribe to Wisdom Oasis for more insightful content on building meaningful connections. Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video helpful.